listeners and viewers, welcome to Kaduna State Ministry of Education radio and TV e-learning program designed for our SS3 and other students staying at home due to the coronavirus pandemic. The present administration under the able leadership of His Excellency, Malam Nasur Ahmed El Rufai is positioned as always to ensure that under his leadership, our students are not left behind in all areas of human endeavors, especially education. Kaduna State is the center of learning. Therefore, we want to ensure that our students excel in their forthcoming examinations and beyond. Students and other learners at home are given this opportunity in order to continue learning as education is a continuous process. Different subjects will be taught in this program to assist students to perform excellently in the forthcoming Senior School Certificates examination being conducted by NECO and WAEC as soon as schools reopen. Teachers making presentations will always provide their names and phone numbers during each presentation and they can be contacted for questions, further explanations and or clarifications. The following numbers and contacts can also be reached for expression of any concern or observation. 090-865-00545 or 080-383-62072 our website is www.education.kdsg.gov.ng. Our email, education at kdsg.gov.ng or education.kdsg at gmail.com. Our YouTube channel, Ministry of Education, Kaduna State. Our Twitter handle, at Kaduna underscore MOE. Or our Facebook page, Ministry of Education, Kaduna State. Stay safe, stay at home, and learn well. Thank you, happy listening, and happy viewing. Good day, my fellow students at home. You are once again welcome to another segment of Kaduna State Government under the Ministry of Education uh, e-learning program. The subject today is literature in English. And we have a topic on the poetry that is known as crossing the bar. Crossing the bar, as we all know, is a non-African poem that is written by Alfred Lord Tennyson. The playwright, which is Alfred Lord uh, Tennyson belonged to the Victorian era. He belongs to the Victorian era. And Victorian era, as we know, is an era before the present English that we are using. Now, the present English we are using is what we call the Elizabethan English. But before then, there was Victorian era English. So he lived between 1809 and 1892. Alfred Lord Tennyson is the longest serving English poet laureate to date. Here in Nigeria, we have a laureate, which is Wale Soenka. But Alfred Lord Tennyson, if you combine all the laureates you know in the world, he's the longest serving laureate. So the poet crossing the bird is one of his many poems. Let's go through the poem. Sunset and evening stir, and one clear call for me. I may there be no morning of the bird when I put out to sea. But such a tide as moving seems asleep, too full for sound and firm, when that which drew from out the boundless deep Tones again home, twin light and evening bell. After that, the dark. I may there be no sadness of farewell when I am back. For though from out our bond of time and place, the flow may bear me fur. I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bird. That is the point. It's a 16 line poem, and I hope you enjoy reading it or hearing me. 
and as you read on you understand the point better crossing the bar now the background of the poem crossing the bar is one of the poems alfred lord tennyson treasure moss before his death he left instruction that in any collection of his poems this particular poem that's crossing the bar should always be listed last there must have been a reason for this but none was given it is possible to guess that this placement is connected with the significance of this position being the last one. The poem is his meditation and preparedness to embrace death whenever it comes. And I can't ask it that Alfred Lord Tennyson, while on a short voyage across the sea, he got very sick. When he later recovered, he got jolted by the possibility of death. Hence, his age was already advanced. The experience was sufficient to inspire a meditation of death. Crossing the bird is a poem that demystifies the power of death. It is a phenomenon common to the rich and the poor, educated and to the uneducated, rulers and to the subject, which affect emphasize in the poem. The poem relates the fact that death is inevitable and must be faced with some courage because it is a universal part of existence. One should not fear death. Whether you like it or not, everybody will die one day. Now, whether you are educated or poor, you will die one day. Now, let us look at the setting of the poem. Remember, in our previous lesson, we have been emphasizing to you that setting is on place and time. So, even cross the bar as a poem has its own place and it has time. This poem is of two settings, that is, the physical and the temporal. The former is clearly a neighborhood that is not far from the sea. The latter is the evening hours when the sun is receding, an appropriate time of the day to talk about a sober subject such as death. The speculation is Alfred Lord Tennyson composed the poem while on a sea voyage. Sea travel was the most common form of transportation in Victorian England, meaning the temporal setting of the poem is Victorian England. So the poem, Crossing the Bird, was written when Tennyson was 80 years old, that is three years before his death in 1880. Nine. The subject matter of the poem, Crossing the Verb. Sometimes some people call it the summary. The poem is a meditation on death, which begins with a reflection of the poetic persona. One clear cause for me. You can see the statement in quote because even in the poem, it is there. He describes death as a journey and express hope that when twink light, eventually turns into darkness. His people should not be sad over his departure. To him, the journey is a far and distant one. He believes it will be profitable because it will afford him the opportunity to meet his pilot. Metaphorically speaking, the journey is actually dead, while the pilot is his maker. Now, in ordinary English, we call, we call it God. Some people call it, in every language they have their own English, call it call the Almighty, God. Why in Arabic, we call the Almighty, Allah. Why other tribes, even my own tribe, we have, we have a way of calling it. So in poet poems, we have what we call poetic license. You can call any name. So here, uh, uh, Alfred called him the pilot, which is God. The maker, he called him in that form, he called him the pilot. So one day he's going to meet the pilot face to face. All right. Crossing the bird relates the poetic personal's preoccupation with the coming of death. He faces death calmly instead of the usual fright and anxiety that many display. <laughs> All of us here in this classroom, whether at home or here, if you hear death, the way people will fear, the way people will run, if we can see dead now, nobody will stay. Everybody will want to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. So once death is mentioned, there's a fear. 
in the life of somebody. So he says we should approach death with what? Calmness. We should approach him with every calmness. The tune of the poem depicts neither fear nor distress. The bird in that poem, uh, or in this context, is a metaphorical which refers to crossing from mortality into another realm of life, possibly immortality. We are all mortal now, so we are going to be uh, transformed into immortality, where when we get to the maker, we will live forever without death. Now, what I will continue saying is metaphorical. In our previous lesson, uh, in literature or whether in English or English, you have heard what is called metaphor. So that's why we, have, we keep on mentioning. So you should not forget it. Now, the poem is of 16 lines, which begin with the poetic past now. We, we assume that the person who's speaking in that poem is the person who wrote the poem. That's why we call it poetic past now. He became aware of the inevitable journey ahead of him. The sun says, and even his stir, act as a reminder to a close or end of his days on earth. He finally appears that there will be no mourning of the bird when he goes on a sea voyage. That is, nobody should mourn, nobody should cry, nobody should be sad because he is going. The poetry person wishes for a climbing weather in the impending sea voyage. He is also aware of turbulence in the movement of the sea when sea creatures are hyperactive or the wind forces them out of their position in the water. So he prays for a favorable journey. He therefore affirms that death is a homeward one, or that this home is extraterrestrial in nature. Anytime you are traveling, everybody wants a safe journey. Nobody wants uh, a journey that he or she will die on the road. Everybody wants, if I'm traveling, and you say, safe journey, go well, and uh, make sure all is well. So that is what he's saying, that the journey is going, he expects a smooth one, no hitches. In the third standard, we notice the personal's meditation. After twin lives, naturally darkness falls, which will render him invisible. He hopes that his departure will not cause any kind of sadness or crying from his loved ones. The dark in line 10 symbolizes all that is unknown about the next life, but encourages all to know that the end of this life is the beginning of another one, thus crossing the bird. Now we have the last stanza. Remember I told you the poem is divided into four stanzas. So now we've seen the first, second, and third stanza. Now let's look at the last stanza. The last stanza, the poetic person now contemplates his destination and what he will do and see over there. He only hoped to see his pilot in this unknown learn. In this stanza, death is figuratively used as the flood. He faces this phase of his life with courage and hope. So anytime you see death, in case you can see it, face it with courage and what? Hope. Now let's look at the teams. Every genre of literature have teams, whether prose, drama, or poetry, have teams. Now, across the bar also have teams. As you know, a team can be described as an issue of life which the writer intends to pass across. What do you want to pass across? In the whole of that big novel, what do you want to pass across? Whether it is small, what do you want to pass across? That's the reason why the person wrote the book or the poem. The following themes or morale of the story are noticeable in the poem, crossing the verb. One, that is death. Death is a major theme of crossing the verb. Crossing the verb is all about someone intent to undertake a journey on the sea. Figuratively, it is about someone realizing the approach of his death. The poetic personal attitude on this issue does not suggest a typical fear or death. To him, death is a journey of no return. So he looks at it mm -hmm, 
they look at it, composed of the stable mind. He detested the sadness and wailing, which is usually attends people's death, and pray no such conduct be observed when he died. It is universally accepted that death is inevitable or short thing in the life of every creature. Every creature knows that death is inevitable. One day you will die. So nobody should fear it, accept it, approach it with courage and every calmness. Now the poem is about the transience of death. So approach and face it with courage because this life, as we know, is not internal. The poetic personnel speak with certainty in regards to the death. One clear call. Everyone's clear call will eventually come. Everybody will one day die. Nobody's going to live forever on earth. So it is a one clear call that everybody will face. So when there comes, face it. The second thing, which is hope. The dictionary defines the definition of hope as being optimistic or a belief that something wished for can or will happen. Hope is an important theme of the point, crossing the bar by Alfred Lord Tennyson. Hope is very important. He recognizes his impending death, but hopes it will not be attended by any form of pain, meaning a relatively peaceful one. The expression of hope is found in the last stanza, where the poetic personal says the hopes to see his pilot face to face after crossing the bird. In this point, death is made um, to appear attractive. So he so be not afraid of it. If death is attractive, why are you afraid of it? Alfred Tennyson preaches a calm acceptance of death since it is inevitable. A calm acceptance of death since it is inevitable. The language and style of crossing the bar. We, just like I used to remind you, and I will keep on reminding you, we have discussed, my colleague have discussed figure of speech. So you can see in every poem you must come across them. So you, you better take it serious. You can go back and li listen or study your figures of speech. Metaphor. This poem is a long metaphor that offers a meditation on the inevitability of death. Most of the words, phrases, and ideas in the poem are used metaphorically. Symbolism. In the poem, some of the instances of metaphorical representation are also symbolically relevant. Then we have the imagery. This occurs in two ways, which are visual and audio. On the visual, he makes use of several sea and water related words. On the audio, he makes use of readers' sense of hearing. Then we have the allegory. I hope you did not forget what allegory is. The previous lesson you heard about it. So crossing the veil is open to both literal and metaphorical readings. At the literal, the poem presents a person who is ready to sail through the sea. At the metaphorical, the the level the persona has senses that his days on earth are drawing to a close he has sensed it since his days are going to a close then he want to approach death in a way that is uh, calm and without fear now having listened to this lesson on crossing the bird now why would not just I uh, leave you. I want to test your ability by taking note of this assignment that we have for you. Now, attempt it yourself and you can equally invite your friends for a group discussion. Now, discuss with them and then you will understand. Now, ideas share is very, very important. So share your ideas with your friends. Make a group discussion and then you understand the point better. So the first question that you are going to discuss is the poet's attitude to death in crossing the world. What do you think is his attitude concerning death? His attitude. Maybe you, you fear when they call death. But the poet, what is his attitude? 
So people at the measure of death, they will start crying. But the fight, what is his attitude? And number two, in what ways has the treatment of the subject matter influenced you? Anytime you hear about death, how does it influence you? How does it, now that you have listened to this, how does it influence you? Does it change your perspective? Or you are still afraid of death the way you used to? So, use the poetry personal and then uh, relate it with your own and then see how it influences you. Now, number three, discuss the theme of death and hope in Lord Tinson's Crossing the Bar. Discuss the theme of hope and death in Alfred Tinson Crossing the Bar. Now, for the benefit of those of us who maybe did not hear me well, or if you just enter, I want you to listen to the assignment again. Now, attempt the following questions or invite friends for a group discussion. Invite. You attempt it on your own or invite friends so that you sit down, discuss together and see how maybe your own idea and someone's idea. Now, when you join the two ideas, two ideas will sharpen you, will make you understand the whole thing better. So, I have my own idea, you have your own idea. So, discuss the poet's attitude to death in Crossing the Bar. What is his attitude to it? Discuss it with your friends. And if possible, even your own, what's your own attitude when you hear death? In number two, in what ways has the treatment of the subject matter influenced you? Having read the poem, 16 line poems, have you read it? What is, how does it influence you? Does it change you or increase more fear to you? How I wish it changes your perspective of it. But I don't know. I have my own perspective, you may have your own. So discuss with your friends. And number three, discuss the themes of death and hope in Lord Tennyson's Crossing the Bar. We have two themes there, hope and, de and, and death. So discuss and let's see how. Now, thank God for this time out. Now, you may wish to call, text, or ask any question, or let's rub minds together. So you can reach me on this line. 080-91-74-0622. I take it again. 080-91-74-0622. The name remains the same, Duncan Zacks. I wish before I, I step out, stay safe eh? and save lives. Coronavirus is real. God bless you. See you in the next lesson.